Mr. Walters, but I've been assured that the office will have the proper appearance by the time we open for business. The sooner the better. My father used to say, a minute wasted is a dollar lost, and a dollar lost is, is a... a dollar lost is, is just awful. <laughs> That's sage advice. Yeah, yeah. Now, Joseph, you're our man in Chicago. You must remember that our company has an aura in a tradition that you've got to uphold and maintain. I'll keep that in mind, sir. Go. I'll be with you in a minute, fellas. Hey, Joey, it's Mike. Mike? Yeah. Michael Rourke? Yeah. Hey, uh, Mr. Walters, don't you have an appointment to go to? Yes, yes I do, soon. Uh, 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 uh. Soon. Joey, 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 Joey. Joey, 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 Joey. You remember Brother Ernie? Ernie! Ernie, 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 Ernie. Ernie, Ernie, Ernie. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I gotta ask you to do me a favor. I know it's been a long time, but I'm looking at you here. You used to do a pigeon. Uh, would you do it for me now? Come see on. The guy? Yeah, no, yeah. Mr. Walters has an appointment to go to. Oh, hold the Come appointment. On. This bird is too good to miss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a long time ago. Yeah. I can never do it really. No, you can never get the eyes. You never got the eyes right. It's more like that's it. Oh, this is great. <laughs> That good? That's great. Uh, Mike, uh, this is my boss, Mr. Walters. My boss, Mike. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mr. Walters, this is Michael O'Rourke. Mike and I were good friends. It was a long time ago. How do you do? How you doing, buddy? I'm Ernie. Uh, Mr. Walters, sir, uh, I think I can handle things here. I'll be sure to call you first thing tomorrow morning. Well, I'm counting on you, Joseph. I'll do my best, sir. Uh, that's all I ask. As my father said, if every man does his every best to his every job... <laughs> Mike! 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 Joey! Mike! Joey! Mike! Joey! You look great. I like the way you look. I feel good. You see our office right here? Yeah, this I is like it. it. I like it a lot. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's great. It's great. It's real nice. Real nice. What do you do? I'm into stocks and bonds. Oh, that's that's real good. That's <laughs> terrific. You're doing great then, aren't you? Yeah. Well, I can't complain. Yeah. Well, I can't complain, but who'll listen? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, listen, that's a good one. That cracks me up. You guys work here? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, uh, yeah, we're uh, janitors. Yeah. Hey, hey, great. Yeah. That's great. Can't complain. <laughs> Sorry. This cracks me up. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, this is, uh, this is terrific. Okay, you, you made the, you hit the big time, kind of, huh? Yeah, feel good. Yeah. <laughs> what you, hey, what you do? Did you, did you like, um, you know, find a matchbook and uh, apply the famous stockbroker school or something? <laughs> 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 no, 
No, I'm just kidding. But uh, but uh, no, I'm. It's uh, you're doing real real well. I'm glad. I knew you would, man. I really knew you would. Mike, you know, I thought about you when I moved into the O'Rourke building. Yeah, well, you know, my boss says, go up to the 17th floor, there's a man up there named Joseph Gallico, and I thought about you. Hey, you thought about me, I thought about you! Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's a real coincidence, you know that? I was sleeping last night, and I had this dream about ice skating. It was last night. I never dreamt that before. I woke up this morning, I turned on the radio, and you won't believe what I heard. The hockey score. <laughs> I know it's hard to believe, <laughs> but it happened. I swear it happened. <laughs> Mike, um, I'd like to give a party here Friday night. It'll be for prospective clients, associates, a sort of grand opening party. And I'd like you guys hey, to... Hey, 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 say no more. We'd be glad to. Don't worry about it. You know what, though? Uh, you're a class guy now. You know, and you've got a lot of class friends, and you really don't want to throw a party in a place looking like this. Yeah, that's what I mean, you see? Yeah, no, don't worry about it. Tell you what we're going to do. Ernie and I will take care of this place. We'll clean it and decorate it for you, you know, for the party. <laughs> hey, guys, I really appreciate what you're doing. Hey, let's get together, Mike. Talk over old times? Yeah, yeah, that's good. You want to know something? There's one old time I'm really curious about. Uh, do you remember the night you and me and Yvonne de Montepons? <laughs> She's my wife. Good catch, <laughs> What do you think, Ernie? Hey, I think this room is great. I think this is a great room. Mm -hmm. I think it's the best job we've ever done, Mike. Mm -hmm. I think you might be right. Yeah, it's the work of an artist. Yeah. What are you doing? Signing my name, just like every artist. <laughs> Boy, what a tacky room. Hi, <laughs> right, look, what are you doing in our building? Your building? Don't you wish? <laughs> I was delivering a tuna melt down the hall, so I decided I'd stop in and make your day worthwhile. Yeah. A real grateful hamster face. <laughs> hey, Mike. Can I talk to you privately for a sec? Over here, Mike. <laughs> hey, have a good time, Mike. You lucky guy. <laughs> How you holding up, Mike? Anything I can do for you? What are you talking about? You and your friend Joey. You started life together. You were best friends. Now he's a successful stockbroker and you will... You're nothing but a human push broom. How can you stand it? Oh, sir, that's simple. I've got good friends like you around to cheer me up. Am I your friend? I mean... Well, I always wanted to be. Now listen, you know, you might not believe this, but I don't have many friends. Come on. No, honest. I had one friend, but we stopped hanging out together. He tried to back over me with his car. <laughs> I don't know, you know, everybody has an off day. Anyway, I'd really like it if we could be friends, Mike. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, okay. I'll be your friend, huh? Look, it's a good idea, in fact. Great. Yeah, all right. Thanks, Mike. Okay. All right. But one thing, though. Let's not go blabbing this around yet, okay? Because, well, if you don't work out as a friend, I'll, I'll have to drop you. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfectly understandable. Don't worry. I, I'm going to try real hard to make this thing work, too. Great. Okay. If it does, we'll make it public. Yeah, well, I, I can wait for that. I can <laughs> Probably longer than you can. <laughs> well, I gotta go. So long, buddy. It's okay. <laughs> buddy. Sorry. Uh -huh. It's a secret, so don't ask. <laughs> hey, look at this. Joey's got his own nameplate. And you guys have to polish it.
This guy's a real swordfish, you know that? Hey, Ernie, come on, hurry up over there, finish up, and we'll go on home, get him dressed up, and we'll come back in time for party. Okay, just let me finish this up right here. This is great. You know, I'm really proud of Joe. Guy from the neighborhood makes good, you know? Hey, come on, uh, don't you remember uh, Albert Takafa? He was a big success. He's from the neighborhood. You call that a success? The guy used to steal rich people's dogs and hold them for ransom. Hey, hey, hey. don't knock him. He was worth a quarter million dollars before he died of rabies. <laughs> In here, huh? Yeah, I might be in over my head here. <laughs> hey, look at that. A chocolate chicken. <laughs> Ooh, I want to take a bite of this. How do you get this thing there? Come on, come on. Talk to me, chicken. There we go. <laughs> it's not it's not chocolate. This is uh kind of animal liver. And I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look for what I want. Hey, nice looking place here, huh? Great decorations. Very nice. Hey, bend over. What? <laughs> bend over. I want you to see the signature right here. See that signature? That's the guy who uh, fixed this office up. So you see, Joseph, what I do is I use the corporation to push the profits ahead, which puts me in a lower tax bracket. See, my father said that there are two things that are certain in this country, and that's for sure. <laughs> Hi, Joey. Mike, uh, you're, you're here. Oh, yeah, one this is for the world, buddy. It's your big night. How you doing? <laughs> you look real good. Hey, that's a nice suit. Huh? Yeah. Well, that beauty set you back. <laughs> I, 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 I think it's about $450. <laughs> well, they saw you coming, huh? <laughs> no, no, it's a nice suit. It's, very nice. it's a great looking suit. It is. It's a trivial looking suit. It's just they have the same one down at Victor's Suit Parade down there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really don't think it's the same suit as Victor's suit parade. Yeah, yeah, same one, same exact suit, same one. Well, no, it's not exactly the same one, because the one down at Victor's has got a little bullet hole in it. A bullet hole? Yeah. He's got an arrangement, so he's got an arrangement with a morgue or something, get some great deals. Well, my next shoot, I'll go right down to Victor's. Yeah. <laughs> or go right to the morgue. <laughs> Uh, can I see you alone for a second? Sure. Excuse us, Mr. Walton. Sure, okay. Oh, did uh, Ernie come here too? Yeah. I know we see you. There he is. Over there. <laughs> you have uh, very nice legs. So do you. <laughs> Anybody ever tell you uh, you look a lot like Anne Bancroft? Anybody ever tell you, you look a lot like Dusty Hoffman? Can I be Stephen Queen? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ernie, can I talk to you for a second? No! Please, <laughs> just for a second over here. <laughs> Excuse me. What are you doing? I was just getting out with that girl. Uh, listen, uh... You guys aren't really enjoying the party, are you? I mean, uh, aren't you just a little uncomfortable? No, not at all. I mean, nice women, classy place, uh, a few brewskis. I feel right at home. Yeah, but uh, you guys don't have much in common with these people, do you? 
Can I get your overcoat? Why? I think he's asking us to leave, Michael. No, no, no. No. <laughs> this is Joey. This is my friend. I mean, I didn't hear those. I didn't hear those words. That's not. That's not what you're asking me, is it, Joe? I'm asking you to leave. show up at this party and Joey's ashamed of me, right? Let's get this. Come on, we'll go. No, wait a second, man. Come here. Look, I know you're hurting. But I just want you to know that I wouldn't trade one Mike O'Rourke for a hundred Joey Galcos. All right, we're going to leave. We're not going to crawl out of here. We're going to leave a little, a little dignity, okay? Smoke this fire, right? No, 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 that's not necessarily true. That's an old wives' tale. Those old wives knew what they were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> what they're talking about. Okay, what are we gonna do? Uh, I don't know. Uh, we can't uh, uh, can't leave out of this door. That's for sure. Are you sure? Uh, sure, sure. <laughs> Real sure. Oh man, this is great. We got a fire on our hands. That's right. I don't believe this. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, I'll get on the phone. I'll call the fire. Good idea. I'll get the phone. I'll get the phone. Okay. I'll get the phone. Okay. No, it's great. Everything's okay. Everything's great. No problem at all. Everything's okay. Mike, I can't find the phone. Oh, no, it's not going to come till tomorrow. That's right. What time? Uh... <laughs> come here. Come here. Come here. What? Put him here. You ready? What? Come what? on. You ready? For what? Oh, Michael, Michael, what are you doing? Mike! Hi. Come here. Come here. Come here. What are you doing this for? Because it's protection. For what? Somebody's got to go outside that door and go through that fire. Well, why does it have to be me? Because you're already wet. <laughs> Come on. All right, give me your coat. Just give me your coat, will you? Give me your coat. For uh, extra protection. Hey, I asked you guys nicely to leave. Nicely. Please. Okay, Mike. <laughs> I'm going. Okay, good luck. Okay, you too. Okay. Fire! There's a fire in the building! No fire. Okay, there's a little fire. Listen to me. Calm down, okay? Hey, you guys got... Okay. All right. Hey, bang. Okay. Oh. Look how it's getting in there. Like a wind. You gotta take control. I know, but I'm scared. You gotta take control, Mike. I'm really scared. Take control. <laughs> like Errol Flynn. Bang! <laughs> Me. I know a way out of this building, and if everybody stays calm, we're gonna get out of here, all of us. And you know why? I'll tell you why. Because I'm a janitor. What's that got to do with <laughs> That's right, I just know all the ins and outs. Okay, now just stay calm. There's no way else. We can't get out of here. We're all gonna fry like eggs. We don't stand a chance. We're not gonna get out of here. <laughs> get hold of yourself, man. There's work to do. Love this. <laughs> I don't hold you for a while, baby. <laughs> okay, now listen to me. Just everybody take control, okay? Just hold still and think about this, okay? Because I'm under control. Okay, now, we, now there's nobody coughing in here. That means the smoke's going somewhere. It's going out the vent, out the air conditioning vent. That's exactly where it's going. And that's where we're going to. Yeah. The vent. <laughs> I handle this kid. <laughs> Is that what you're going for? <laughs> nice try, but... Right, goodbye. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute! Woman first. Right. Goodbye. <laughs> Come here. 
I just want to tell you, you're making me look real bad here, okay? Right. Bye-bye. Thank you. Very much. Okay. Anybody else in there? No, nobody. <laughs> Boy, he's a quick little sucker, isn't he? Yeah. And the, the, the toast I propose is to Michael and Ernest who saved our lives. Uh, as my father said, if you can keep your head when the others are losing theirs. There. <laughs> Ernie? Hey, Ernie, you were great. Tell me how you felt when you went out that door and went through the smoke and the fire and that awful heat. Okay, I'll recreate it for you. Went through that door and through the smoke and that fire and that awful heat. And I grabbed the shield. I needed a shield, so I grabbed this coat. Right? Yeah, use my coat for it. Nobody cares, Michael. <laughs> I grabbed this coat, and I went through that fire, you know? For you. Then, uh, a couple of firemen came up to me, and they said, uh, Ernie, us guys can learn a lot from you. <laughs> Nothing. Mike, you were so calm up there. So cool. Well, well I've got to tell you the truth. I was, uh... I was scared to death. I don't know. I. Not kind of. <laughs> I guess a guy does what he has to do, you know. I don't know. I guess like his genes and chromosomes start to move around. <laughs> kind of uh, just. <laughs> Having a good time, huh, Mike? <laughs> Excuse me for a second. Kind of plan something for when I come back, okay? <laughs> Think lips. <laughs> Mike, you and Ernie were great up there. Yeah. I mean, you guys saved our lives. You guys are real heroes. Yeah. Yeah, we're heroes. Nothing, uh, nothing's changed, though, has it? I mean, you know... I mean, me and Ernie are still the same two guys you threw out of your party. Yeah, I think I understand that. But now, heck, now, you know, you don't really mind being seen with us. We're, we're okay to be seen with, because, you know, gee, heroes are good for business, right? Well, I guess this is your party now, Mike. See you later. Okay. Hey, Joey.